हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू ऑल माई डियर स्टूडेंट टू दिस ऑनलाइन लेक्चर टूडे इज योर कॉम्प्यूटर लेक्चर एंड आई एम योर कॉम्प्यूटर टीचर माई नेम इज श्वेता यादव नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग अवर लेक्चर आई वॉन्ट टू से दैट यू ऑल आर फाइन एट योर होम प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ वेयर योर मास्क रेगुलरली वॉश योर हैंड कंटिन्यूसली विद अल्कोहल बेस हैंड ड्रॉप right and avoid the close contact who has a flu like symptoms now see in this lecture what we have to do and in the previous lecture what we have done so first of all see in this previous lecture what we done filling the blanks and name the following that two exercise we can done in the previous lecture right so the first filling the blanks it is from your textbook page that i will include here so you can see that which exercise of your textbook will be here now and the second is the name of the following it also your textbook exercise that we can done in the previous lecture but in this lecture we can see shortly so you can remember again and you can remind again the answer of the filling the blanks and the name the following right so these two topic we can learn in the previous lectures right about the computer about the some of the program that we can learn in this online lectures so now see in this lecture what we have to done in this lecture we can also do a uh, exercise we done exercise activity from your textbook but first we done name the following of the following tools in the word pad so this is the tool that we can use in the word pad program you can see the picture and you have to tell me the name of the tool that can see in the wordpad window now the second topic that is answer in one word that also we can learn in this lecture we in this lecture we have to learn this two topic right let see this is a previous lecture activity that we can done filling the blanks with the help of the words given in the brackets right so these are the option that we can see in the previous lecture the first filling the blanks is when you switch on the computer dash menu start automatically so it is window window menu start automatically first that can run in the computer when we can switch on it is windows now the second the filling the blanks in windows a list of command is called menu what the list of command is called menu you can see in the bottom uh, sorry in the top of the screen you have a different different menu file menu view menu edit menu right this menu we called a menu list of command we call them list of command now when you click on the dash button you will see the start menu so it is so easy start button when we click on the start button you can see the start menu right so easy on a menu if you place a mouse pointer on the item it will be small right arrow you can see the sub menu what sub menu it is a sub menu to shut down window we click on the shut down so this is our previous filling the blanks now see the next one this is also your textbook image dash button is used to make window smaller what restore down in the top right side we have a three button cross maximize minimize and restore down so here restore down is the correct option to window become smaller if you click on the dash button wordpad window will be disappear it is minimized whenever we see the minus sign at the here right side of the program window close maximize restore down and minimize so minimize is the minus sign indicate the minimize and we can click then display is disappear from the desktop window now third one the dash shows the name of the document so title bar is the correct answer title bar shows the name of the document font size is measured in a point to save any changes we use a save 
to select entire text click on the dash on the edit group so it is select all what it is select all click on dash to move the selected text in the middle of the document middle so middle it is called center so the answer is center click on the dash to move a selected text to the left of the document so here left the so alignment text left click on the dash to underline selected text underline so it is answer underline if you click on the drop down menu will you show the different color so it is text color this is activity we can learn in the previous lecture why we go fast because it is your short description so you can remind it again see the second activity name the following with the help of the words given in the brackets right so here in the brackets you have see the answers you have to match with the question the main screen of the window it is desktop you right small pictures that you can see on the window screen it is icons the bar at the bottom of the desktop it is task bar what it is task bar the small arrow on the window screen it is mouse pointer and the small button in the left hand side it is start button this is our previous lecture activity that we can done right so these are two topic we can learn in the previous lecture now you can remember this answer and see this lecture activities so now in this lecture the first we have to do that is name the following tools in the word pad right name the following tool that is in a word pad so see here the first tool see carefully which picture which icon it is we call them icons also and we can call them sorry we can call only tools only okay now see the first see this tool clearly and tell me which is the correct name which is the correct name here is not option given any so you have to just remind our previous lecture in the previous lecture where we can you can see this icon see this tool so the first tool that is save what that is save button in every program you can see this tool it is used for save our document what it is used for save our document for example we are opening a paint program so we have to first of all use this tool and press the mouse button click and save the document with the give given of your choice name for example in the left previous lecture we can done paint pro application paint program we can save a three or four document with the demo one demo two right F shapes different shape this names we can use to save our document so this is most important tool in the every program that is to save our document if we doesn't save any changes any document so in computer we can st no doesn't store any data we cannot store any data if we are not using the save button tool okay understanding the uh, clearly the first tool to save the document you have to must compulsory save the document now see this minus sign you can see this minus sign which is just before a two minutes i will use in the filling the blanks minus sign what is minimize what it is minimize this button it shows in the 
right hand side of the third number button so the minus sign indicate minimize and minimize button is used to window become disappear from the desktop screen right whenever we are pressing this button the window screen what we are open in the desktop window it will be disappear from the window and it's come on the task bar it's come on the task bar again you have to just open from the task bar you have to just click on the program icon so it come appear on the desktop minimize button is used to disappear the program from the desktop window okay now you can understand the minus sign minus signs it means minimize button and minimize button is used to disappear the program window from the desktop window now see the third one tool here it is a two square right one is here another is the back side so these two square it show in a any program at the right side of the program close maximize and minimize button so this one is which button this one is restore down button what restore down button it is for what it is for what just before 5 minutes we can talk about it it is for window become smaller what when you are pressing this button window become smaller from the wall screen of the desktop it become smaller now see this cross sign red button what it what it close button what it close button these three button close restore down and minimize that you can see in the right side of the every program for example in paint notepad microsoft office word word pad this four program we can learn in this online live lectures but now this is the final that you have to remember this three button we can see in the right hand side top of the program and it is used to close minimize maximize right the windows now see the fifth one it is a maximize button what it is maximize button whenever you are pressing this restore down button so window become smaller than the this icon is replaced with this button so if you are pressing restore down once then the pictures that you can see here it come maximize so it is a maximize now if we want to again window become a bigger maximized so we have just click this tool so it come bigger so it come bigger so it come bigger okay now see the sixth one you can see this line starting from the left side so where you can see this line where you can see this line where i think you can see this line in word pad program right in the word pad program so this line is indicate for alignment what for alignment so what is the meaning of alignment what is the meaning of alignment see whenever you are opening the program for typing for example we we are used for typing notepad program wordpad program and microsoft office word this three program we used for typing letters word letter sentence paragraph whatever okay now for example we have to start our line from the left side what i am saying we have to start our line from the left side of the page so this is called alignment if we have to start 
from the center so we can start from the center if we want to start from the right side so we can start from the right side but for that we have a three different different buttons whenever we are pressing this button it will become specify the directions left center and the right so it is for starting our line okay it is for starting our line so here it comes at the left side so it is called alignment text left so so whenever we are pressing this button it means our letter or our line started from the left side what from the left side left side means which side this one this is called left side this is called right uh, center and this is called right side if we are pressing this left alignment so it comes started from the left side okay now see this seven number it is on center what it is on center you can see it is on center not in the left side not in the right side it is on center so it call center button alignment text to center whenever we are pressing this center button so what it returns it returns that our line started at the center what at the center from here from here 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 at the center tab our line will be start if we are pressing this center alignment text tool okay understanding this alignment concept in the word pad and you can identify the tools see using this activity we can identify the tool their name and their use so it is most important so you can see the tools identify the tools and think their uses okay now see the eight number what see the eight number tool so it is start from the right side where from the right side you can see the every line is on the right side here every line on the left side every line in the center now in this it is on the right side so it called a line text right what it calls a line text right so it means our line started from this right side where from the right side i am typing my name so it comes here shweta is here not in this left not in the center but in the right side now see this last one tool in the word pad capital a letter in the bottom you have a black border underline and here is the small arrow button it is called sub menu you can see the right side arrow so it calls sub menu what the sub menu in the filling the blanks you can see the menu and sub menu so this is called sub menu because the tools and they have a sub menu so it is called a text color what text color because capital a indicate text and this black underline is called color so text color by clicking on this sub menu you can see the different different color and you know very well because in every lecture we can do this we can change our text color right i know you are seeing my lectures you are doing your work very well and you are changing the color also of the font so if you are not changing still the color of the font so please try it use this text color tool and change the color of the text and see the different and see the layout that will be done by this text color so these are the main tool different different tool that we use in the word pad program where word pad program right so this is our first activity in this lecture we can done complete here right now we have to move to the next activity which activity which activity the next activity first we done filling the blanks second also we done filling the blanks third is we give 
नेम ऑफ द फॉलोइंग राइट द फोर्थ हियर इन दिस लेक्चर आइडेंटिफाई द नेम ऑफ द टूल्स एंड राइट देयर नेम एंड डिस्कस अबाउट देयर यूज इज वाई दे यूज राइट सो दिस आर द एक्टिविटी दिस आर द टूल इन द वर्ड पैड वी यूज इज सेव मिनिमाइज रिस्टोर डाउन क्लोज मैक्सीमाइज अलाइन टेक्स लेफ्ट सेंटर अलाइन टेक्स राइट टेक्स कलर सो दिस आर द वर्ड पैड टूल्स राइट ना सी दिस वर्ड नेम द फॉलोइंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ द वर्ड्स गिवन इन द ब्रैकेट राइट सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू हियर वी हैव टू रीड द क्वेश्चन एंड वी हैव टू चूज फ्रॉम दिस ऑप्शन वॉट चूज फ्रॉम द ऑप्शन सो ओपन अलाइन टेक्स राइट टेक्सट एरिया क्लोज एंड कर्सर दिस आर द गिवन ऑप्शन of our question right so let discuss this read this first of all the first question the tool to close word pad what is the first question the tool to close word pad so see here the tool to close a word pad it means where whenever we want to close the program what is we what we use for closing for closing close tool right close tool is used for closing word pad window correct now see the second question the area what is the second question the area where you type in the text what it means which area is used for typing in the program which area we use for typing so it is text area text area text area means what for example we are opening our notepad or word pad you can see the white page blank white page right so this white page it is called our text area for example you have see this white color right so this white color it is called text area so we can write in text area text right now see the third number the small blinking vertical line in the text area the small blinking line vertical line vertical line means which line standing line right vertical line means which line standing line so the standing line in the text area that you can see it called cursor right you can see uh, whenever we, i am writing in this lecture so you can see the standing line and whenever whenever i am typing the letter so it started where this line is blinking so this line is called a cursor and you must have to see the cursor position whenever you are started writing for example you have to start from the first so you have to move your mouse at the first and click there so whenever you mouse were click on the text area there only cursor was blinking there only cursor was blinking so the small blinking vertical line in the text area that is cursor right and cursor it shows our current position where we in the word pad or text area see the fourth number the tool to open a save document the tool to open a save document open you can see the keyword open the save document 
so open is the keyword answer is open right to close our document close to open our save document open tool is used so easy right now see the last one the tool to move text selected text to the right of the document what to move selected text to the right of the document just before a uh, five minutes we can see the tool that is alignment text left right and center now see here select text text to the right what we have to do to move our selected text to the right side so alignment text is the correct answer right alignment text is the correct answer so these are the activity that we can learn in this lecture name the tool of the following and identify the tool discuss their uses now see this second name the following in the one word that, that is our one word question one word answer right so here our lecture is over you have to must practice at your home if you are having a computer if you are watching my lectures right whenever you are co come again in school we can done everything again so you can clearly where where with the computer so bye everyone take care stay home stay safe and wash your head continuously again and again i am saying that you have to must care of yourself and wear your mask regularly okay bye everyone and please now online live lecture is going on so please everyone come on the live lecture join the live lecture and see what was see what your teachers are going on your subject revision okay so you must have to join this online live lecture so bye everyone